into Philly. It'll be raining throughout. Top of the fourth. Shane Reynolds up at bat. Up, gets away. And Ricky Gutierrez is going to come around and he's going to score. 5-2 Astros up on top, but Terry Francona arguing, hey, it was a foul ball. Take another look. Was it fouled off? Yeah, it was fouled off. It wasn't ruled that way. Chuck Cotier, Philly coach, he'd get tossed. Facing Alan Embry with two on. If it's fair, it's gone. No, we're just kidding. In the short left, Eucalypt's drifting back, needing some help. Gets it in the form of Kevin Millar. The throw to third. Michael Tucker is called safe. Take it to the look. Garcia Parra, the stretch like he was a first baseman. Appeared the throw was in time. Terry Francona ejected first time as manager of the Red Sox. With a one on, one out for Ortiz, Kapler's bodyguard. He finds space and right after the catch is bobbled and dropped. Now, Damon was waiting to see if the ball was caught. Gary Sheffield catches him with the bullet to second. Damon disagrees, not nearly as much as manager Terry Francona, and he's told to go join Kapler. Second, it's Jorge Posada. This guy's a hitter. Doubles down the right field line, ties it at five. Posada, two for four, drove in four. Wakefield would allow five runs on five hits in six and a third. And we got more controversy. What else you need? Fan touches the ball. That's what first base on Jim Wolf said. Terry Francona argues he thinks Bernie Williams, who was on first, should have to go back to third. He had scored. They disagree. The umpire have the discretion on that rule. Who hit somebody early in the game, still in the game, and then he hits Singleton, and he's ready to go. Then thinks better of it, and Veritek grabs him. Thought the benches would come out and get cleared again. The most vocal Red Sox on and off the field is Kurt Schilling, and he was very much vocal in the middle of this one as well. Bronson Royal not afraid to, to hit batters. No. Hit A-Rod last year, hits him right there. Not afraid to get in the middle of it. No, he's not afraid to get in the middle. Now Walker's hit by a pitch, and the umpire should throw him out. See, this is ridiculous. This is how you get yourself in trouble by issuing warnings. Now the crew chief. Yeah, well, he's got to do Larry it. Larry Young's going to say, hey, you got to throw him out. The home point umpire didn't do it. Larry Young, the third base umpire, did it. But that is ridiculous that Eric Cooper couldn't take charge. All to strike now to Pedroia. And now Francona really giving it to Ayasanga from that Red Sox dugout. He said that pitch was too high, and he's been thrown out of the game. Gone. A heavy Ortiz situation. You had. Oh. oh, he said something that ticked off PT at all. You know, I've never seen him this high. in scoring position today, three for 18. They just threw Francona out of the game. Bill Miller has been ringing up the Red Sox with great regularity today. And I think Tito, whether the pitches were strikes or not, had just gotten tired of it.
And Beckett with a profanity laced and now Veritex, sentence. Yeah, Veritex protecting his pitcher right here. Well, but Beckett, we could hear it now. Veritek has been tossed, and Francona will soon follow, I would suspect. Kishner has had a very unsettling seventh inning. Yeah, he's gone too. Four ejections, and now <laughs> Tishner almost pointing to his feet and an imaginary line saying, okay, cross over here. Tried to hold up and went around. I think that umpire's going to make the call and not check. Boltzway wants him to check, and Scott doesn't feel like he needs to. Here comes Frank Hone again. And Frank Hone's been tossed. Yeah, he can't come out and argue balls and strikes. Drew, next batter, Mike Cameron strikes out. Somebody got thrown out of the ball game. Jeff Kellogg tossing Cameron for arguing balls and strikes, and Terry Francona coming out to do the same. He gets tossed, then he decides to toss Kellogg out his. And now Terry Francona talking with the home plate umpire at the moment. Now that was very strange because Beltre was heading out toward his position, and I don't know if the umpire said something to him or he said something to the umpire, but all of a sudden, his people trying to keep a Beltre away from the home plate umpire. Now yeah, Francona has been ejected. Didn't like whatever answer he got from Dan Bellino. They were talking very civilly for quite a while. His move is very deceptive. The question is, is it a block? Well, I tell you, that front foot looked like it was stepped more toward home plate than it was toward first base. And you know, you can't argue box. And I think Terry Francona has been ejected from the ball game. Up to third, a throw to first, and they got him as Span now in a rundown. They tag him out. Home plate umpire is calling it off. Dropped and a balk on him? He was dropping a balk on Tim Wakefield. They will get a run out of this. It'll put the Twins on top, four to nothing. And second base will be given to Span, and Terry Francona has been ejected. What new Hernandez? You cannot argue a balk either, which is part there of the reason go. he is right away ejected. And uh, the bot called here. And I don't think he went all the way to third on his fake to third. Well, Joe West is getting in the way of, two of uh, Terry Francona. And Tito wants his time. Again. And it hits Guerrero on the hand. Guerrero not happy at all. Another Oriole hit in the hand, and they're going to eject Wyland. Jeez. There had already been warnings passed out. Another Oriole's hit in the hand, and Wyland is tossed. Yeah, that's that's too much for me. I mean, you got to have a feel for the game for crying out loud. Locked it out. Medium right field. Ichiro gets some good momentum. Ellsbury can run. Here's the throw. The play. Yeah, he got him. Did he hold on? Oh, he dropped the ball. It was there in time. Oh, brother. How does he make that call? Wow. That looks like he clearly had him. The umpires talk about it, and after they do, they reverse the call and call Ellsbury out because Josh Bard never dropped the ball. Terry Francona comes out to argue. He's eventually thrown out of the game. He decides to throw out the umpires. 